Hey there all craft beer lovers, time for another beer review. Yeah, you got it right, we got a dessert in a can on the table tonight. We are going once again guys to Amundsen Brewery out of Norway to their dessert in a can series. We're taking a look tonight at their peach cobbler described on that lovely playful uh, artwork and label as an imperial stout coming in at 10.5% ABV in a 330 milliliter can. Uh, ingredients, water, malted barley, oats, lactose, hops, yeast and aroma and that's it. So yeah, another one of these dessert in a can series, their pastry stouts, almonds and brewery, there's the artwork, and I mean, yeah, it's the same artwork as most of their series are. Uh, very, very nice, of course, very playful, cartoonish, full of those sweet things there. There's 360 degree lid there, as Amazon used to have. Let's pop that lid, see what we get then. Oh, no, I don't think, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I don't think it's a 360. I think it's an ordinary one. Well, let's pop it anyways. See what we get. Right, fill to the brim as per usual with almonds and thank you, sirs. And this beer is going out. There we go. Yeah, what can I say? What can I say, guys? What can I say? And for me, I've had very good luck with these beers. Uh, I've tried a fair amount of almond scents to serve in a can. And I have been enjoying most of them, basically, or perhaps all of them. There we go. So, so let's see how this one fares. Peach Cobbler. Sounds amazing. In view, guys, what do we have? Not, in a, not, not even a pinky there. Not even half a pinky. Of a quickly dissipating brown-colored small tiny head. Uh, jet black beer all day long in that glass. Looks fantastic. Aroma. Yeah, so it's very, very, very jammy and sweet, I would say, on the nose. I can get the oats in there. The lactose, I can get it as well. It's, an, it's a nice, jammy... Uh, sweetness to it smells almost like a kind of a, a nice mix of sweet fruits and uh, sweet uh, berries and uh, a little bit of chocolate and dark malts on the nose it smells absolute fantastic I have to say so with that said guys let's dive in cheers everybody Okay, let's go for another one, second one right away before we start to deconstruct the beer as it were. Ooh. Okay, okay, so yeah, definitely a pastry stout. Uh, you do get that peach in there for sure. That's interesting because you do get the peach. Nice peachy sweet vibe. However, the mouthfeel is very thin, very, very thin, unfortunately, and I'm used to a little bit more heavy, rich uh, mouthfeels on these beers, in this series of uh, beers, dessert in a can. So this one is a little bit uh, kind of deviating from that pattern there, because this is a little bit more thin. And, uh, oh, let's go for another one. I have to deconstruct this one further, I guess. So you got a nice initial taste of peach, jammy peach. Bit of a astringent bitterness at the back end. Dark malt, chocolate, sweet overall. A little bit of fudge and caramel perhaps, and that's it. That's what I'm getting. So for me, I mean, not a bad beer in any way. Not 
in any sense of the word. It's not bad. It's a good uh, dessert in a can. Uh, nice pastry stout, of course. But, I mean, if I compare it, and I mean, I, it's not maybe... Maybe it's not fair to compare uh, I mean, uh, a beer from another beer. But uh, it is uh, taken in uh, into a kind of a uh, holistic uh, view there. I think this one is a little bit uh, subpar uh, in regards with all the others in the series. But it's not bad. It's very thin. Uh, yeah, and I feel it's kind of lacking in some senses. Um, hard to describe. And I'm not, I'm not bashing the beer because it's a good beer. But I have taken into that consideration uh, in comparison with a lot of, lot of other dessert in a can uh, versions. This one isn't the best. But for me, if you like your kind of peach, jammy, driven uh, imperial stout, you don't notice any alcohol. And I mean, it's 10.5%. You don't notice any alcohol in there. Uh, if you like those beers, then, then this one will be right up your alley. Uh, but if you expect a little bit more rich mouthfeel and a little bit more focus on chocolate, on kind of more uh, sweetness, if I may say so, a little bit more uh, pastry vibes, then this will perhaps be slightly disappointing. But it's not bad. For me, 3.25 out of 5. 3.25 out of 5, that was everything I had for today. Thumb me up if you liked the review. Thank you for watching.